Well, there was a special pre-Passover Seder on Long Island this week for dozens of men and women who survived the Holocaust. It's an annual event put together by volunteers. CBS 2's Scott Rappaport has a story. An astonishing affirmation of life, freedom, and the miracle of survival at the Friedberg Jewish Community Center in Oceanside. It is wonderful. It is wonderful. I am so thankful to be here. At first glance, it appears to be a lovely pre Passover Seder for a large group of 85 senior citizens. But a closer look at some of these men and women hidden beneath their shirt sleeves, the numbers still etched into their skin 70 years later, speaks of their horrible, painful past. Terrible. What I went through, I lost my father. My father went to Auschwitz and never came back. My mother died of liberation. They are all Holocaust survivors, many of whom are now in their 90s. Jews who escaped from or avoided Hitler's death camps, which took the lives of six million Jews and millions of non Jews. People like 98 year old Bergen Belson survivor Laura Greenbaum. I have lost four sisters in Auschwitz, and I always feel guilty. How come I survived and they didn't? On this day, this very special day, they all gathered together to celebrate Passover. The Jews' liberation from enslavement in ancient Egypt, and in extension, their own survival from the Nazis' attempted genocide. For many here, it is a powerful moment of reflection and faith. It is beautiful because now we all survived and we were meant to live. This remarkable Seder, now in its sixth year, is the work of the UJA Federation, the group Self Help, and volunteer Ellen Grossman and her friends who raised six thousand dollars to fund the event. These people gave so much years ago and many of us don't even know what happened and don't understand what they went through. I don't forget, you can't forget, you can't forget. You, you're not allowed to forget. A celebration and appreciation of Passover and the unshakable, unbreakable bond these men and women share. Scott Rappaport, CBS 2 News. Event organizers even covered the cost of transportation getting participants to the Seder and back home.